in this auditorium, we shall look at him from every view. I shall paint him this picture from Genesis as the promised seed. I shall exalt him in Exodus as the Passover lamb. I shall speak of him in Leviticus as the scapegoat and in Numbers as the brazen serpent. I shall exalt him in uh, Deuteronomy as the great lawgiver and in Samuel as the prophet, priest, and king. I shall tell you that in Kings, he's king of kings and lord of lords and chronicles. He's the great historian. I shall exalt him in Ezra as the rebuilder of the house of God and in Nehemiah as the rebuilder of the wall. I shall exalt him in Esther as the sage of the Jews and in Job as a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. I shall exalt him in, in, in the Psalms of the fallen of all the ages. I shall exalt him in Proverbs as the truth. I shall exalt him in Ecclesiastes as the great preacher in the Song of Solomon as the wonderful lover. I shall speak of him in Isaiah as wonderful counselor, prince of peace, the mighty God, the everlasting father. I shall exalt him in Jeremiah as the weeping prophet and in Lamentations as the street preacher. I shall exalt him and lift him high in Ezekiel as the rebuilder of the house of God and in the temple. I shall exalt him in Daniel as the stone cut out without hand. I shall exalt him in Hosea as the forgiving lover of the wayward, uh, wayward wife. I shall exalt him in the minor prophets as the one coming in Bethlehem of Judah. I shall exalt him in Matthew as the king of kings and Mark as the suffering servant. I shall lift him high in Luke as the son of man and John as the son of God. I shall speak of him in Acts as the power of the church. I shall speak of him in Romans as the item out of the gospel and in Corinthians as the restorer of the carnal nature and in Galatians as the rent veil and Ephesians as our heavenly one and Philippians he's our sufficiency. I shall speak of him in Colossians as the great shadow. In Thessalonians, I shall speak of him as the coming Savior. In T Timothy, I shall speak of him as the great appearing God. And in Titus, I shall call him our blessed hope. In Philemon, I shall speak of him as the forgiver of wayward slaves. And in the Hebrews, I shall remind you he's best of all. In James, I shall tell you that he's the fulfiller of the law. In Peter, I shall tell you he's the rock of the church and the rock of our salvation. In John, I shall speak of him as our assurance. And in Jude, I'll remind you he's the one who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. And I shall tell you that in Revelation, he's the one who's going to come. I shall exalt him. I shall exalt him and lift him high. I shall 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 exalt him and lift him high.